Um, I need it done before she gets back from her friend's house. Hurry! Cheers, Harry. Oh, is that Harry Potter? My mom! What's up, Tex? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for a PC Building Simulator. Oh my freaking god, this game is so awesome. Now, normally when I start one of these new Let's Plays, I go over what the game is about, how it works and all that stuff. But I got to tell you, the name of the game says it all. It's a PC building simulator. I mean, I can't, I can't say anymore. Uh, it's freaking awesome. We're basically going to, um, we run a shop. We're going to get people bringing their PCs in. They're going to need viruses taken out. They're going to need, uh, they're going to need hard hardware swapped out. Uh, they want upgrades. Uh, sometimes be, the computer will be broken. We'll have to figure out what's wrong with it. We basically run a PC shop. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I did have a game going, but we're going to start a new one. So let's get going. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. To begin, go to your PC by the doorway and open the mail uh, program email program on your desktop. You've got mail. Okay. So you can see right here, this is my shop. The uh, customers will bring in the PCs and leave them here. Uh, that's where I have to put them when I'm done working on them. We've got three workstations. Uh, this is the only one that's unlocked at the moment. Uh, this one I can unlock at level three. This one I can unlock at level eight. Um, and this is the PC storage cupboard, which I can unlock at level six. All right, so let's check out our email and see what see what's going on. All right, this is from Timbo2000 at supermail.com. Um, hey, thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry it's not in a better state. A few things. The company isn't doing very well, and there is no money in the bank account. The rent and energy bills come out monthly, uh, so make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job on the go, which should help with the rent. See the email below. Remember to use your thermal paste when putting in a CPU. I almost always forget and the PCs overheat. Now, I just want to say right off the bat, I am not a, I do not know everything about putting together PCs. I did build my PC, um, but there's a lot about this I don't know. But the things that I do know, I will try and educate you as best I can. Um, and you guys in the comments section, I'm sure a lot of you guys know a lot about PCs. You know, let me know in the comments, any, any comments you have about, you know, anything that I get wrong, you know. Or if you just want to add on to stuff. Or tell me how much you're excited for this Let's Play. All right. So there we go. So we got one here. Um, hey, Tim. I guess I'm Tim. <laughs> or maybe he's Tim. No, he's Tim. They think it's still me probably. That's what I'm thinking. Timbo? I don't know what my name is. But this guy's name is Timbo. Um, and I wonder if they think I'm Tim. Or maybe I am Tim. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you can help me. My computer's been running slower than usual. I think I might have clicked something I shouldn't have. Uh, do I have a virus? Thanks, Gary. Uh, the job details, uh, remove viruses. Payment will be $100. That sounds great. That sounds great. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get his PC. This is his right here. All right. So we're going to bring this over here, put it on the workstation, and we just have to scan for some viruses. Should not be that big of a deal. For this job, you need to run a virus scan. Press 3 uh, or the cable button. And plug in the monitors, keyboard, mouse, and power into the back of the PC. So if you if you hold down right mouse button, you can kind of drag the PC around like this. You can also drag it from the other side if you have to work on the other side of the PC. Uh, we don't have to open it up. All we got to do is come over here to our wires. If you if you kind of press WASD, you could kind of like move around a little bit. And we're just going to grab these wires and plug them in. So we got to press number three right here, right, to get on the cables. And then you hold down the button and you plug it in. And then you do the USB. Actually, that's the uh, graphics card. Um, and then we put the USB up here. There we go. And I put this USB up here. All right. Now you need to put your USB drive into the back of the PC so you can install the virus scanner. Press 1 or the install button uh, to go to your inventory. Select the USB drive. It plugs in the USB slot in the back of the PC. So right here, you see install. I'm going to press number 1. These are our tools. We got thermal paste, USB drive, and compressed air. So we're going to go ahead and grab the USB drive and put it right in there. Now press P or the power button to turn on the PC. Click on the monitor to use the operating system of the machine. All right, so now I'm going to get out of here by pressing escape. I'm going to look at the computer, press P. It's going to turn on. And here we go. All right. Welcome to Omega Operating System, the operating system of choice. Click on the add remove programs to install the virus scanner and don't forget to restart the PC after it's installed. Okay. So right here we have add or remove programs. Now this wouldn't be here if I didn't, um, this stuff wouldn't be here if I didn't plug in the USB drive, right? So I've got the virus scanner right here. We're going to go ahead and install the virus scanner. Okay. 
And there we go. I wouldn't think you would install a virus scanner on a, um, I'm going to restart it on a, uh, uh, a customer's PC. But there you go. We got the virus scanner. There we go. We're going to start scanning. That virus scanners usually take hours and hours. Okay. This one, pretty, pretty quick. And they've got 168 infected files. Guys, guys, I think we all know where this guy's spending a lot of his time at. And he's not really, um, protecting himself from the problems of going to such sites <laughs> that's a lot of uh, infected files all right we're going to clean the files uh, you removed all the viruses on the pc and ready yeah we've removed all the viruses on the pc huh by going through one virus scanner i would run this through a few of them to be honest um anyway this is a bold statement <laughs> you've removed all the viruses yeah okay you keep thinking that and the pc is ready to be returned to the client pick up the pc uh, at the right mouse button and place it in the corridor okay so we're done there now we get out of here we turn this off P, uh, we right click. Now you don't have to unplug everything. When you right click, it just automatically pulls everything out of it, including your USB drive. I usually like to put the computers that are done to the left. Great, now all you need us to do is uh, collect your pay. Go to the email and hit collect. There you go. I like to put the ones that are done to the left and you know that way I know which ones are finished. Okay, collect and bada bing, bada boom. We remove the viruses, beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, what is this? Um, they got back to me. I just want to say thank you for fixing my PC. It's booting faster than it has in years. I didn't realize your uncle had gone away. Yeah, that's right. I'm not Tim. That's right. That's, hey there. I want, why can't we pick a name? Anyway, um, I didn't realize your uncle had gone away. It looks like the business is good hands though. Thanks, Gary. Well, thank you very much, Gary. Um, we're also going to clean this out a little bit. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And we have three new uh, business opportunities. Hello. I need some more space to back up my files. Could you install a 500 gigabyte uh, hard drive alongside my existing drive? Existing, exist, exist. Man, why am I having such a problem with that word? Along my exist, existing drive. I, I give up. <laughs> Along, along with the drive I have already. There we go. I don't know why I'm in such a problem with that. Um, I'll bring it around first thing. Uh, okay, okay, Gemma, no problem. We need to install a uh, Mortoni Easy Store 500 gigabytes SATA 3 gigabytes or uh, or better. Okay, 500 gigabytes is not a lot of space, but he's adding he's adding it onto something he already has. The SATA drive three gigabytes a second. I think that's half of what most. I think most drives come out now, now are six gigabytes a second. Although, again, I haven't built a computer in a long time. But we're going to go ahead and accept that. Customers' PCs will take a day to arrive. So it'll arrive tomorrow. Okay, very good. Um, go to the shop in the PC and buy your components. So you have them when the computer... So I'm going to buy the components now. So they come tomorrow. Yes. Okay, we'll do that. All right, Sherman. What do you got for me? Could you have a look at my PC, please? It isn't running as well as it did when I first bought it. Probably not taking best care of it. Looks a bit dirty. Could you give it a once over, please? Yeah. Computers never run. You could take the best the best carrier computer you ever want. It's still going to slow down. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, you know, usually usually when your computer gets really slow, you just want to reformat the hard drive. Um, get rid of everything. Redo the operating system. That's what I normally do. Although I haven't done it in a few years because um, I'm a YouTuber and putting in all my programs is kind of a pain in the butt. But I used to do it all the time. Um, but, you know, uh, removing viruses will help as well. If you can uh, bring it around first thing in the morning, except, and we got Queen. Uh, my graphics card has fried itself and, I, and it needs to be replaced with, with the same one, please. An NVIDIA GTX 970. That's the one that was in the computer I built that Autumn's now using. I have a 1070 now. Uh, maybe one of those sheen ones. Uh, I could drop it around first thing in the morning. All right, repl replace the graphics card. Okay. All right, so we got a few things here. All right, so um, we need to buy that. I'm going to keep this window open, and I'm going to go to the shop, and we're going to go to storage. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. How do I go back? There's no. Is there not a back key or something? Yeah, whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, storage, there we go. And we're looking for a... Uh, uh, more Tony easy store 500 gigabyte. Uh, I think I can move this over and then I can move this over so I can go back and forth easily just like on a real computer. Pretty sweet. Um, can I search for 500 gigabyte? Yes, I can right there. More Tony easy store 500. There you go. Add to cart. Okay. And let's take a look at the next one. Uh, that's just remove viruses. No problem. This one, we need a GTX 970. Uh, graphics card. The graphics card is, well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's the thing that puts the graphics on your screen. It's usually the most important part of your uh, PC, too, um, as far as performance goes. Okay, so we need a 970. There we go. So we've got a uh, Sheen 
970 and a 970 Exxon. Now, this is more money, but they didn't ask for this, and I'm not giving it to them because why would I spend more money for something that they didn't ask for? That doesn't make any sense. Although, I'm wondering if you put, like, in better parts, if you'll get, like, more business later on or something. I'm not really sure how the game works, but I'm going to go with the cheap route for now. All right, so our cart, we... Uh, you uh, use the delivery option to choose the best receiver components. Uh, often it's better to pay for faster delivery than wait days receiving things. Okay, so you see right here, okay, uh, same day delivery is 100 bucks. Next day delivery is 30. Three to five working days is 10. Now here's the thing. I don't know how long these people will wait. I don't know if getting their, their computers fixed earlier is better. I don't know if it affects the game in any way. I'd really like to go to three to five days, but um, I'm going to go with the next day delivery um, just because we probably can't wait that long. Maybe the three to five days where you could like pre-order parts and like start stocking up so you have what they need um, right away. I'm not really sure, but uh, th this game's very new to me. So, all right, well, that's everything we need. Let's go ahead and buy that. And that's going to put us at negative 260 bucks. Oh, that's not good. What do we got here? Oh, crap. Mega, Mega Corp banking here at megacorp we know that life does always run smoothly so we provided a free overdraft for all our customers your free overdraft limit is one thousand dollars well that is awful nice of you i appreciate that okay so i think we are done here we're just waiting for tomorrow so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the door and we're going to click on it uh your day here you can end your day in advance to tomorrow but make sure you've accepted all your jobs order components blah blah yeah got it all right so this is our this is our little calendar here we don't work on the weekends um, so this is today, tomorrow, this shows what jobs we have and the delivery we're getting. All right. So let's go ahead and end the day. The customer's PC is here. Pick it up with right mouse button and take it to your workbench to fix it. Okay. So we could skip the day if we want. We go to, we go out to, you know, to the amusement park or just sleep in, sit around eating Ben and Jerry's all day and watching Game of Thrones. But you know what? I think we're going to work today because we got bills to pay. So let's do that. All right, so these are the parts we ordered. All right, we got the uh, the hard drive and the graphics card. Beautiful. These are the computers. That's the upgrade. That's um, that's the hard drive one. All right, let's take this one first. All right, now we got to start cracking open the computers, people. All right, so this is a hard drive. Okay, so the hard drive is going to be in this area, and I believe it pops out the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to – we're already on remove. So we're going to click on this, and then we have to undo the screws. I like – this the little parts of undoing the screws and having to do all those little things i think it adds a lot to the immersion but I, it's going to get old fast and there is little things we can buy later little upgrades that we could skip that kind of part of it so we'll do that eventually all right let's come around to this side you know what we might not even have to open the other side to be honest but whatever we'll take this one out all right so this is their this is their hard drive right here the one they've been using this is they've got four more bays um, I'm going to put them separated uh, for heat purposes. I don't really know if that matters, but whatever. I'm going to do it anyway. So now we're going to go to install, and we're going to go to storage, and there it is right there. And then we just plop that sucker right in there. All right, then we close it. How cool is this game? Am I right? Yeah. All right, so now we have to hook up the SATA drive, which is the hard drive to the um, the, the hard drive to the motherboard, which lets them talk to each other. We've also got to hook up power to the hard drive to give it power. Okay. Now this is a lot easier than it would be in real life because all you have to do is press number three and it shows you where the cables are. So we're going to just click on this one and that goes right around here to the motherboard right here. We got five ports. We're going to put one right there. And this is really cool for the wiring. One thing that when I did build my PC, I built my PC and I built it pretty well, but the wiring job was horrendous. I was terrible with the wiring job. And this is pretty cool. This game does teach you how to do some decent wiring because if I was building this, I'd probably just put wires like anywhere, but look, like they really show you where to put the wires to not have them everywhere. And that, that's pretty cool. If I ever build another PC, this is really going to help. All right. So that's to the power. There we go. And that's it. We've installed it. It's good to go. Uh, before you, before you ever put plates back on a machine, you plug it in and make sure it's got to, it's got to be able to boot to the operating system um, in order for you to finish the job um, to make sure it's working. This is the HMI, HDMI cable, which goes into the video card. This is the mouse and this is the keyboard or one is the other. I don't really know. Don't really care. You don't, you don't close it up until you know it's working. So we're going to hit P, see if it, see if it, comes up there you go we got the operating system going good and that's wonderful and you that should turn green boom we're done turn that off put the case back together and we're done
That is awesome. I love this game, guys. I love this game. I mean, how freaking cool is this? All right, we're going to go to install. We're going to go to PC parts. I don't know which one. This one's the back. The one on the front has the little window, so you could look into your PC. This one's for the back. So we slide that back on. We put the screws to it. God, this game is awesome. <laughs> I really like this game. Oh, man. Right? I, I'll bet you right now I'm going to sell so many copies of this to people um, who watch my videos because I think a lot of people don't know about this game, and it's freaking phenomenal. All right, so we're going to grab this over here. I, I can't believe there's not more of these. I don't know. Maybe there are. Maybe I just don't know about them. All right, so that should be all done, right? There we go. All green. Beautiful. All right, broken parts. This is where we have to uh, put in the graphics card. Graphics card's a piece of cake. It's the second easiest thing to put in your machine after RAM. And honestly, if you have a big fan like this person has right here, um, putting in RAM can actually be a problem. It's hard to get to the RAM. Sometimes you actually have to take off the, um, the fan to get to the RAM. So, uh, you know, graphics card might actually be easier than the RAM. But most of the time, it's not. Most of the time, most of the time, the RAM is the easiest thing. Um, especially if they have water cooling. I haven't seen a water cooling case in this game yet. All right, so right here is the graphics card. Uh, the graphics card, uh, you can see it hooks right into the motherboard right here. You know, there's just a little thing right there, kind of like your Nintendo cartridge used to hook in. Um, yeah, it's basically like that. So we got to remove this. And in order to get that out, we need to take out the screw. And we need to install the new graphics card. There we go. So this one's broken. This is one we just got. We could sell it for a couple bucks. Um, and we'll put this one in and then we put in the screw and then we have to hook up the cables. Now, again, um, I think this thing needs to go into, it's already in the motherboard, so it doesn't get, it, it's, it's, if you look right there, it's kind of hard to see, but it's actually hooked into the motherboard. Um, so it just needs power cables. And I believe most graphics cards need at least two power cables. So, um, we're going to look for cable. Oh, is this, do I not need to do cables with this? That's a mistake. Dude, are there graphics cards that get the power from the motherboard? I don't think so. Every graphics card I've ever put in, you have to plug cables into it. I think that's a mistake with the game. Or maybe maybe they're just baby stepping you through it. That could be it too. All right. Well, anyway, it turned green, so that thing's installed. So now what we have to do is we just have to um, hook up the hook up the wires here. So you can see how hooking up these cables could get old after a while. Um, and like I said, there's a there's a couple little um, tool things that like you could buy later on where they'll hook up the cables automatically so you don't have to mess with it. So all right, let's go ahead and put that on. And as long as that boots up, we're good to go. Okay. Looking good. And everything's green. I love it. We're done with the second one. We're blowing through them, people. We're blowing through them. All right, install the parts put the put the thing back on put the screws in these screws are especially made screws every case i've worked on in the past six years has these screws where you don't need a screwdriver that you just turn them with your hands thank goodness i love those things all right leave them by the door let's do it hells yeah all right so this one just needs a virus scan and we're good to go for the day oh god this thing needs to be cleaned off too all right fair enough uh, press the inst uh, yeah, they're telling me to get the compressed air. So you press one for install. You know where the compress, you know where the air is. And you just kind of blow the dust off. If you hold it down long enough, stuff goes away. Got some dust over here. There we go. Got some dust over here. There's always dust in the back. I actually, my computer probably getting pretty dusty. I know Autumn's is. So we got to blow this off. There we go. I'm pretty bad with the dust thing. Can I look down? Yeah, it's a little bit tough to get in there. Well, whatever. We can get to it from here. Come on. Come on, dust. Come on. Come on. Let's go away. Is that actually gone? Is it? No, that's pretty dusty, man. Um, probably the top as well. Yeah, the top's always... Anywhere where there's fans blowing out of the case gets really dusty. All right, we're going to remove it. We're going to remove this. Oh, four screws. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I like the idea of removing these screws, but by episode five, it's going to get really old. All right, so go back to the compressed air. We got the video card is dusty as F. Um, these little components back here are dusty. Um, this stuff I can get from the back. Yeah, we got to get all these. These things, these things right here, are specifically here to block up possible video cards or i think you could put other things of video cards down here maybe like um network cards or something honestly i don't know i've only ever put video cards in there um but yeah you could put all kinds of stuff in there and these little things are here 
to block the dust from getting in the computer when there's not a video card there. All right. All right. So I cleaned out all the dust. That's beautiful. Now we need to get rid of the viruses. Okay. So we just need to plug it in, turn it on, run our virus program. We'll be good to go. Three for cables. Plug in the cables. HDMI goes to the video card. Mouse. Keyboard. Good to go. P to turn it on. All right. Oh, you know what? We didn't put our uh, thing in there. All right, we didn't put our USB drive in there. The USB drive is what has the virus program on it. That's why you got to make sure it's in there. Oh, that's a, that's a nice uh, screensaver. I like that. Or not screensaver, but background. Desktop background. All right, let's go ahead and put the virus scanner in. <laughs> the virus scanner takes longer to install than it does to scan. <laughs> oh, boy. Later on, we're going to have to uh, restart. Later on, we're going to have to um, run benchmarks, and benchmarks take a long time. Virus scanner. Start scanning, please. 335 viruses, dude. Oh, my God. Stop opening up those email attachments. Stop going to the you-know-what sites. Um, if you're going to go to the you-know-what sites, God bless you, but have some kind of virus blocker on your machine. Damn, dude. All right, so that got cleaned out in one second, which is still really weird to me. Uh, and we're done with this one, so let's go ahead and turn this off. And then we will slap the case back on. PC parts, the case... Put in the screws. There we go. Looking good. Okay. And then we just kind of rip the wires out, rip everything out just by picking it up. Because that's how the pros do it. Put that down. And I think we are done. Let's take a look. All right. Um, I do want to show you. Well, I guess you've seen the shop already. Well, actually, there's a couple other things I want to show you in the shop. Let's say before we, before we go any farther. And you know what? Let's finish the jobs first. Then I'll show you the shop. Okay, so uh, that's the that's the uh, bank telling me I better pay my bills or they're going to break my legs. Um, right here, we did that fine payment collect. Right here, we did fine payment collect. Right here, we did fine payment collect. Then we delete all these. There we go. All right, we got three more. All right, let's see what we got here. Hi, I'm giving my daughter my PC and she needs a lot of RAM, apparently. Um, she said she needs 16 gigs and I've currently got two gigs and four... Uh, I've currently got two gigs and four RAM slots. Okay. Um, she's got two gigs. She needs 16. So if she's got four RAM slots, I can't I can't use that two gig stick she's got. Um, two times four is eight. That I, she needs 16. So that, that two gigs she's got in there is going to be a complete wash. All right. So we're going to accept that. Um, I'm not very good with computers, but mine isn't working properly. It's been getting very hot lately and running slower and slower. I don't think I, I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. Um, it lives, it lives on the floor of my dusty office. I hope it's not all clogged up. Well, it sounds like you know what the problem is. Um, if you do have to replace the fan, please pick the cheapest one. I can't afford anything fancy. Okay. So I'm going to have to re I'm probably gonna have to dust this out. Yeah. And re and replace the fan. That's fine. Um, we did level up. Uh, now that we're level two, we get um, some other like new little toys we can buy from the shop, which is cool. Uh, what is this? Well done, keeping PC building, PC building simulator team. Well, thank you. It's awful nice of you. All right, so this one right here. I need your help. I borrowed my mum's. Oh, is this from the UK? <laughs> no, I don't know. Eh, mum, right? Um, I... I I borrowed my mom's brand new PC and I think I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Now it's riddled with viruses. Yeah. This guy was playing World of Warcraft and he got an email uh, that said, your World of Warcraft account is gets a free upgrade or something. Click on this link and you'll get a million gold. And he clicked on the link and someone freaking, I mean, he's lucky he still has his account. Um, anyway, I know, I know that for a fact. It's happened to me once. I learned my lesson with one phishing email and I'm good now. <laughs> Um, I need it done before she gets back from her friend's house. Hurry! Cheers, Harry. Oh, is that Harry Potter? My mom. Um, okay, well, remove the viruses. You're going to pay me $200 to remove viruses? Okay. Hell yeah. That's awesome. All right, so these are all in transit. Very good. Let's um, let's take a look at the shop really quick. And we're going to look at the tools, okay? All right, see right here, auto connect. I can get these right now if I had the money. There's a quick screw tool, which sounds really dirty. Um, a quick cable tool, auto standoff tool, faster installation upgrade, auto scroll tool, auto auto cable tool, system info. Will it run? I'm actually gonna have to buy this eventually um, for one of the uh, for one of my uh, clients. Um, PC Bay, which allows you to buy uh, parts at reduced prices, and part ranking. So those are the tools I have right now. 
I think that's probably all of them. So um, that's a good amount of tools, though. Or maybe they'll, maybe more will pop up later. I don't really know. All right, guys. You know what? My timer's about to go off, so I think I'm going to pause the pause the timer. And um, that is the end of the day. That is beautiful. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Cage, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Um, we need to order the RAM and the fan. Okay. Yeah, that was a mistake. All right, let's do that really quick. All right. All right. So we uh, replaced the air cooler. Okay, so that's the fan that is connected to the, uh, the CPU, I believe. Um, I don't think it's a case fan. I don't know if there's any way to tell, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's the one that was connected to the CPU. All right, so cooling... Uh, sort by price ascending. This is the cheapest one, 10 bucks. Go ahead and buy that. The shipping's going to cost three times as much as the freaking thing, but what are you going to do? Um, and then the other thing we need is the 16 gigs of RAM. Um, it does not seem to matter what kind of RAM I get this person, so I will just get them the cheapest one. Um, price ascending. Uh, she went 16 gig, right? She's at four slots, I think. Yeah, four. So I can't get those twos. I'm going to have to get her uh, the fours. Okay, that's fine. All right, whatever. I'm just going to buy her uh, four of these. That's fine. So we'll buy, we'll click on that once, and then we need four. All right, so we need that. We need that. Four times four is 16. We should be good to go. I'm probably going to make, uh, I'm probably going to make mistakes ordering parts in this game. Uh, just, you know what, guys? If I make a mistake and order the wrong parts and it pushes me behind, just enjoy the ride. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so this is just me ending my day. So thank you very much for watching. I am going to call this one here. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure you leave those comments uh, letting me know how awesome this game is. Make sure you mash that like button. Just mash it. Just freaking mash it, okay, until it doesn't move anymore because, uh, you know, that's going to let me know you guys want to see more of this game. And I hope you want to see more because this game's a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, uh, have a good one. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.